Hey, what's going on guys? It's Paper here with another Snap video for you. In this video, we're talking about a surfer deck using the newest card in Marvel Snap, Daken. Daken is a three cost, four power card that on reveal adds a Miramasa shard to your hand. The Miramasa shard is a one cost, one power card that when it's discarded or destroyed, it doubles Daken's power. Now you can use multiple things to buff Daken before the Miramasa shard goes off, which is I think where this surfer shell kind of really highlights Daken's ability. I very typically can get Daken to a 14 power in this list, utilizing both Nova with Killmonger, as well as Surfer's buff before doubling Daken's power. I think that really highlights the strength of Daken in this build, and using other things such as Absorbing Man to get multiple Miramasa shards really works really great in this list. Daken kind of replaces Maximus in the typical Surfer powerhouse slot. You could also run Maximus with Daken, but I think we only, only really need like one big card here, and Daken is just filling that slot for us. We're opting in this list for more of a control-oriented build, which I seem to prefer over just raw power in most cases. So I really like that uh, the list that we have here, everything kind of came together with my first draft of the deck. This is the deck that I ran all the way from about 75 to infinite, and it's just, I think, the best Daken, desk, Daken deck for me. I don't really ever play Surfer, but Daken has super, super restored my, my faith in the deck as a whole, and having magic to give us more time to draw Surfer really makes this deck kind of come together in a way that I typically wasn't really excited for in previous iterations of Surfer. So without further ado, let's get into the deck breakdown and go over some of the cards in this list. Starting out with the Surf Core, we have Silver Surfer, obviously. He's gonna buff all of our three costs and only three of our cards in this deck are not three costs. So he's buffing basically everything in our list. Where I differentiate from some other Surfer lists is my inclusion of both Magic and Absorbing Man. We're using these two cards together in the Surf Core because Magic enables us to play Surfer and Absorbing Man on turn seven if we get it to go off with Magic, which is a really strong combo. It's gonna give almost everything on our board plus four. And Absorbing Man also has a few other combos in this deck, including Daken and Brood. Both of those cards are really, really good targets for Absorbing Man. With uh, Brood, Absorbing Man will summon two five power Broodlings. Both of those are going to be three costs, so they can get buffed by Surfer as well. So I think Absorbing Man is a really strong card right now, and I really wanted to utilize him with Surfer. So this is my solution was just to run Magic instead of running a Sarah list just because it helps you get to both of these cards on the final turn. Next up, we have our three cost core. Now these are cards that are pretty core to the deck. Brood obviously goes in every single surfer deck because it just adds three three cost cards to the board, all of which can be buffed by different things. So Brood is obviously gonna be in almost every surfer deck. Killmonger is a great card to kill enemy one cost cards. But in this deck, he's also killing both Nova and the Miramasa Shard from Daken. This is our only form of destruction for the Shard. I have been thinking about maybe putting in something else, but we'll talk about that later. And then Daken is the newest card in the game, and I really wanted to build a deck utilizing him. I think the combination and the adding a, a bunch of buffs at once on the Daken, then Miramasa Sharding him, is just really, really strong. We can get him up to about 14 power on average, which just makes him a bigger Maximus with just a little bit more steps. I think the Surfer build is a really, really good spot for Daken, and I'm really looking forward to further experimentation with Daken in these sort of lists that are kind of different from the destroy or discard list that he's being seen in. Next up, we have the control cards that I'm running in this list. Storm, Juggernaut, and Shadow King are all great control cards. They're all three costs, so they're all gonna get buffed by Surfer as well. I'm running Storm and Juggernaut together as a combo. Obviously, you can just win the Storm lane straight up with that combo. However, Storm can also be comboed with stuff like Brood and Daken. Both of those cards get really, really strong in that location. And if we have the lane stormed off, then your opponent cannot interact with those cards, which is awesome. Storm can also be used as a cheeky play onto the Magic to Limbo lane if you have a winning play for turn six. So that's always an option if you have a way to win uh, earlier than turn seven. Juggernaut's just like a game winning card. 
very often he seals the games. I think he does in some of the footage that I've clipped as well. He's just a really, really strong card on turn six or turn seven, just to reduce the amount of options that your opponent has. Shadow King is a little bit weird in this list. I know a lot of people asked me about it when I was playing it on stream. You just have to play Shadow King a little bit differently than you normally would. He can come out on turn six if your opponent's playing like Kitty Angela stuff and you're able to just snipe it. Shadow King hitting a Bishop, Shadow King hitting a Taskmaster, like all of these things are really, really good for Shadow King. Um, you just avoid playing him bef after playing uh, Silver Surfer and I think it's fine. Um, there's a lot of things for him to target and he does get buffed by Surfer. So it's really, really good and I just, it's just my flavor. You can replace him with anything you want, honestly. So I wouldn't say that the slot for Jeff is necessarily a contested slot. There's many things that you can run in place of Jeff in this list. First of all, a lot of Surfer decks run Goose. I think Goose is an okay card. However, with the prevalence of Zabu in the meta, Goose doesn't actually do a whole lot in a lot of games. Goose is a great card because we can play almost all of our cards besides Absorbing Man in this list, no matter what, into Goose's location, while it does limit your opponent from playing certain things. I think Goose is a good card, but I personally don't really like running Goose, purely because of Zabu. Carnage is our next option. Now, Carnage is an interesting card. You usually don't see Carnage in Surfer lists. However, since we need to destroy Nova and Muramasa Shard, having one additional destroy effect can't be a bad thing. It could also reduce things or remove things like harmful locations and goblins. So Carnage is just another consideration. I've also got Domino in this list. Now I'm a Domino fan. I do think that having that guaranteed two costs just to play on turn two every single game is actually a pretty nice effect. Uh, she doesn't really do a ton to thin your deck or anything. However, it's just nice to always have that guaranteed. I'm going to have that three power on turn two, no matter what which is kind of what Jeff is, but Jeff doesn't get drawn every single game. So it's kind of just a personal preference. You can really run any two cost card or just omit two cost cards entirely and run another three cost card. Now for the next set of replacements, I put Polaris here, but actually you can replace any three cost card in this deck that you're not really feeling with any of these cards here. Cosmo is a great card. He's one of the strongest cards in the game in terms of just stopping things outright. He's a really great card. I think he potentially has a place in this deck over Polaris in a lot of cases, but if you're on Cosmo, you're kind of also thinking to run Maximus as well, so that's another consideration. Nakia is interesting because Nakia does buff Dakin, who then multiplies off of that buff, which is nice. Nakia also buffs uh, Brood and the Broodlings as well, so that's another consideration. I think Nakia might sneak her way into this list this week sometime. And then Sarah. Sarah is kind of a staple in surfer decks. A lot of people are running Sarah all the time. So I think Sarah is something that a lot of people are already thinking of and already using. It's just one of the replacements that you can put into this deck. So that's it for the card breakdown. I think this deck was really, really fun to play. As I said, I ran it all the way up to infinite. I'm probably gonna play it tonight on stream to get a bunch of infinity tickets or at least a few. This deck was really, really consistent. I was able to get Dakin to 14 very consistently and I'm able to stop a lot of my opponent's game plans by doing stuff like Storm, Juggernaut, and Shadow King. So I think this deck is really, really great. It's my preferred way to run Surfer. Like I said, I don't normally run Surfer because I just have bad luck with the deck. Having Magic in this deck gives me an extra turn to draw Surfer, which I've really enjoyed, and it's really helped my playtime with this sort of uh, archetype. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. I also stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at night on twitch.tv slash paper with two R's. So come join me there. I'll be live playing this deck on Friday, which is the day that I'm uploading this. And also I'll probably be playing this deck a little bit more, but if you wanna see some other decks, I do have a ton of other deck breakdowns on this YouTube channel and all of my gameplay from my YouTube channels come from my Twitch stream. So if you wanna see the decks before they even get posted, hop on over to the Twitch stream and give me a follow there. Anyways, let's go on over to the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching everybody. And as always, good luck snapping. That was wicked. So basically in Surfer Dex, Dakin just takes the spot of um, Maximus. He's just a better Maximus. Do we, I don't think we Polaris. Polaris middle. 
Could definitely Polaris Metal. Pull that collector over, Shadow King that collector at the end of the game. Also Killmonger, the Quinjet. Oh, pull the cork, pull the cork, pull the cork. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like we can just snap now. I feel good about that. Play Brood on the right. Killmonger middle. Play play Brood Miramasa on the right. And then on the last turn we play Killmonger middle, surfer left. This guy's got infinite. Okay. 20. Do we beat 20? 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then Miramasa as another five or 20, and then Surfer, we win. That's uh, a She Hulk. That's She Hulk, huh? If he has Shang-Chi, then that's really shitty for us, but. annoying I still win I still win it's actually surprising but we also got rid of the two one cost so he only had a limited amount of power he could put here Plenty of Vats is amazing for Dakin like truly truly amazing for this card Dakin's pretty good with like Altar of Death as well, which is nice. Interesting. Okay, well we're running Killmonger in this list, so let's just throw just throw Storm out here. No, we actually can't really play Storm. Ebony Ma, like we're fine with Ebony Maws. Like we're just gonna Killmonger them. It sucks that we missed a draw though because we filled our hand up. We did not do that anymore. Do it this way because we might just absorb him in the Dakin. We just need to draw Killmonger. We actually have to draw Killmonger. We just get rid of the double card. We don't get rid of it, but we we undouble it. Win. It does. It might not need. Or it might need another card for Dakin. Um, but I think it's okay. Play Miramasa. We're not really even worried about middle at all because we're gonna win the rest of these locations super easily. He has Pryo. We're going to buff Dakin with Surfer first. And then we're going to Killmonger to go ham. We're getting three doubles on our Dakin plus the Surfer buff. 
Yeah, we were gonna lose the middle lane anyway, so we're fine with this. Kill all of his maws. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. 58 and 50. Okay, all right, Dakin, all right, all right. Take a random three cost. I'll take a magic play. I should have juggernauted this. Sarah version. this gotta do this i would love to kill monger shadow king next turn but i just don't think it's gonna be enough we just need to do this well it does win us the left location actually okay okay he might not have surfer he probably has surfer he goes up to 15 if we draw, if we draw Nova, it's really good. Actually, our Dakin's really strong. Wait a minute, our Dakin's really strong. Ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think we can win this. I think we can win this. We make our Dakin massive. We go up to 25 on the right. Alternatively, he's gonna add, okay. So we have to think about this. He's gonna add six. He's gonna add six to the middle. So if we don't, if we don't absorbing man, we actually tie the middle. So we just have to do it this way. We don't win the left, even though like a, a Shadow King left is pretty strong. I think we have to go for this. Colleen does not get boosted by Surfer. He did not draw Surfer. Nice. Nice. Absorbing Man buff. Dakin goes up to 8. Killmonger makes him a 16. Nice. Even when it looks like we're, we lost because they played Brood and Kiln. We can get little bits of buffs onto Dakin that like apply multiplicative, multiplicatively once we destroy Miramasa. Because he was a 4 and now he's a 16. We only doubled him once. I'm getting regularly at least 3.8, but very often I'm getting like 3.14, which is crazy good. when I'm not playing against a bot that runs Scorpion. Oh, let's go. Okay. Um, I'm 
actually don't know what I want to play here. What do you guys think is going to get nerfed? Not going to say anything. Ooh. Okay, so we can Shadow King that Carnage, which is nice. We definitely just Daken here, though. We got Killmonger. We're going to have two Dakens, and we're going to have two Shards, which is awesome. This bot just played Absorbing Man on a Carnage. Okay, so we have a full hand. Oh my god, we can play Miramasas on Sinister London. Snap. <laughs> we have four Miramasas. Okay. Oh my god, we can play Absorbing Man and get another one. Dakin is carrying us this game. 100%. No! Wait, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, that's fine. <laughs> that's actually okay. I just started sweating because I thought that was not fine, but it was fine. How about this? How much power is this Dakin going to be? Both of these Dakins. They're going to be massive. Oh my god, they're staying in. No, they have Shang-Chi. Please, no. Please, no. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. 96. That's a new record for me. A new record for me. Look at that. We won without drawing a surfer. Holy shit. 